Grace here to show you how to make a basic drum beat using sounds in Studio One 3. So basically I was going to show how to create a drum slice or kit or whatever you want to call it by adding a bunch of pre-made sounds into the bars here and we can make an 8 measure loop and basically just look in the pre loaded files. They're all wave files and there's tons. I can just pretty much play out different ones, different sounds. Say so you want to use that one, just drag it over here. Let's drag it over to one. Alright, so now we have a loop, and this is for looping. We have a drum beat on beat one. If you zoom in, you can see there's all the beats pretty much sequenced in. You can name them different names, so that's that's the bass drum, so let's name it out on kick. You can scroll through the list and find all the different ones. You can get a hi-hat one. Let's see. You can usually figure out the names by looking at the file. Uh, hi-hat. There we go. There's a basic hi-hat. So we'll drag that one over there. You can rename that one too. Just double click it. So we got a drum, bass, and a hi-hat. Let's add a snare. Let's see. There's a good snare. Alright. So you drag it over there. You can rename that one too if you want. And then pretty much basically all you gotta do is hit the loop. And it'll loop everything. Zoom in and find out whatever whatever beat it's on. It's gonna repeat, and you just select the one you want, and you can pretty much you can do four on the floor. You can select them, move them over, add different beats, whatever. Fast forward that, and you can find find out what it sounds like when you get them all together. Alright, so here's like the basic same thing. Kick, snare, hi-hat. Let's give it a little play. Sounds like a little Classic little drum beat. So you, you make whatever file you want in your drum beat and add sound effects. You can add, you can add all these different sounds. Just scroll through and find different things. And when you find out that you're done, you can actually go over here and export it. And when you export it, you can name it. It'll save in wherever you want it. Uh, usually WAV file with 24 bits. It's important. Anyway, you can choose where you want to pretty much make it a WAV file. So you make that. And then you can go and make a new song. 
And now you can find that file that you made in your files. So now you made a drum beat in tool wave file. Now it'll be better on your CPU usage. And you can make it any way you want. So there you have it. This was a quick tutorial on how to lay down a drum beat using pre-recorded wave files that come with PreSonus Studio One 30. Thanks for watching.